I must confess that I too have a problem with pride. I want to take credit for myself for things that God has done. So this particular passage in Deuteronomy 9 where Moses is sharing with the children of Israel that they're fixing to go over and to take possession of the land of Canaan. I'll read Deuteronomy 9, 1 through 6. Hear, O Israel, you are to cross over the Jordan today and go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the descendants of, An of the Anakim, whom you know and of whom you have heard it said. Who can stand before the descendants of Anak? Therefore understand today that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you. So you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said to you. Do not think in your heart after the Lord your God has cast them out before you saying, because of my righteousness, the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. But it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out from before you. It is not because of your righteousness or the righteousness of your heart that you go in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord your God drives them out before you, and that he may fulfill the word which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Therefore, understand that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. After they had conquered the heathen nations in Canaan, Israel would be tempted to be proud, thinking it was because of their own righteousness that God had given the victory. Moses reminds them that their victories will all be by the grace of God. To begin with, God would give them the land to fulfill his promises to their fathers he made in Genesis 15. Promises that he had made because of his grace. The Jews did not deserve the land. It was given to them because God loved them. Furthermore, he would drive out the heathen nations because of those nations' own sins, not because of Israel's goodness. Moses reminds the Jews in the rest of chapter 9 that their whole history has been one of rebellion, not righteousness. In Proverbs 11, 2, it says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. Proverbs 16, 18 says, pride goes before destruction. The application is true for Christians today. We are taught in Isaiah 64, 6, our righteousness is like filthy rags. We dare not forget the grace of God. We are saved by grace. And any work we do for Him is by grace. If we have material and spiritual blessings, it is because of His grace and not our goodness. Such blessings ought to humble us, not make us proud. And we should want to use what we have for His glory and the winning of souls. Just as Moses interceded for the nation and saved them, so Christ died for us and ever lives to make intercession for us. It is all because of Him that we have such great blessings today. Perhaps the worst kind of pride is spiritual pride, such as we see in the Pharisees. If we are spiritual, we cannot be proud.